Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Honda Ridgeline RTL E, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Honda Ridgeline offers the most car-like experience in the midsize pickup truck segment. Credit goes to the Ridgeline's unibody construction, which helps it provide more noise isolation, ride comfort, and interior room than its traditional truck-based rivals. You also get some cool storage tricks, such as a lockable in-bed trunk that is exclusive to the Ridgeline. Honda continues to offer the Ridgeline with a single engine option, a smooth spinning 280 horsepower V6. New for 2020 is a standard 9-speed automatic transmission. It replaces the previous 6-speed and promises incremental improvements in acceleration and fuel economy. Honda has also tinkered with the Ridgeline's trim levels this year. The biggest change is improved availability of the larger touchscreen that includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. So, what's not to like about the 2020 Honda Ridgeline? Well, the big knock on the Ridgeline is that it lacks the rugged off-road ability and attitude of its rivals such as the Chevrolet Colorado, Jeep Gladiator, and Toyota Tacoma. Buyers of these trucks tend to want that stuff even if they don't plan on using any of it on a regular basis, if at all. But evaluated logically, the Ridgeline is undeniably the most refined, comfortable, and roomy truck of the group. The 2020 Honda Ridgeline is offered in four trim levels, Sport, RTL, RTL-E, and Black Edition. All Ridgelines are powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine. That engine, like I said earlier, makes 280 horsepower. What I didn't say is that it makes 262 pound-feet of torque. That engine's made it to a new 9-speed automatic transmission. Front-wheel drive is standard on the Sport and RTL trims, and all-wheel drive is an option. The other trim levels come standard with all-wheel drive. The entry-level Sport, which has a starting MSRP of $33,900, comes with much of the same hardware and capabilities of the higher trims. Now standard for 2020 is Honda Sensing, which bundles driver aids such as adaptive cruise control, lane keep and assist, road departure mitigation, and automatic emergency braking. Both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also standard, as are cloth seats, which are unique to the Sport and Tri-Zone climate control. Moving up to the RTL, which has a starting price of $36,670, adds creature comforts such as leather trim seats, heated and power adjustable front seats, a sunroof, and a power sliding rear window. And the step to the RTL-E, which as we can see has a starting MSRP of $42,020, brings even more with a powerful audio system, navigation, and a trunk truck bed power outlet as well as blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. Finally, there's the top of the line black edition which has a starting price of $43,520. It has the same features as the RTL-E but comes with blackened out exterior trim and wheels plus red accented leather seats. I'd opt for the RTL-E because of its long list of standard equipment as well as features not available on lower trim levels. In this near top level trim, all-wheel drive is standard as is an upgraded audio system, navigation, an auto dimming rearview mirror, and a heated steering wheel. The RTL-E also includes a blind spot monitoring system, rear cross traffic alert, and automatic LED headlights. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Honda Ridgeline. It's a mid-sized truck. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to build and price the RTL-E. That's the second one from the top tier level, right? That's got the starting price of $42,000 and change. But before we actually get to the car configurator, which we're going to do at the end and build and price our RTL-E, we're going to check out all the features. We're going to check out the gallery here. We'll check out the gallery. We're not going to look at any of videos. We'll check out the exterior photos. We'll check out the interior photos. And then we'll also go through the features, right? We'll check out the different colors, the exterior colors, uh, the exterior and interior features. Features, capability features, technology features, Honda Sensing is their safety technology, and then we already went over the trims and specs. So we'll go through all their different features, and then we'll end with the build and price. So, uh, oh, real quick, before I forget, down in the description below, I have put links to uh, other videos that I've done of vehicles that compete with the 2020 
Honda Ridgeline. I mentioned the Toyota Tacoma. Well, I've done a building price of that. I've actually done a few of those. Uh, Chevrolet Colorado, the Nissan Frontier, the Jeep Gladiator, the Ford Ranger. All of those vehicles I've done building price reviews on. The direct competitors of the 2020 Honda Ridgeline. And like I said, I put all those links in the description below. So make sure after you watch this video to check out some of those other videos. Okay, let's jump into it. Let's start with these exterior photos uh, in the gallery. So we're not going to read this little bit of information down here. They got a little snippet of information down at the bottom. Why aren't we going to read it? Well, real simple. After we go through the gallery, we're going to go learn out. We're going to go learn about the feature, so it'll get a little redundant. If you want to happen to take a look at some of this stuff, and I might be moving a little fast, you can simply pause the video really quick to make sure you get the little, uh, be able to read that little snippet of information. All right, so yeah. Here it is out on the on, out on a dusty road. Even though I was saying most owners don't usually do a whole bunch of hardcore stuff with their Honda Ridgeline, Honda's making a point here to show all of its utility out in the wilderness. Right here it is out on the open road. I mean, if you look at the landscape, it's not in the city; it's out in the middle of nowhere. All right, they're trying to give you a message, but here it is at a very nice house. So the Honda Ridgeline actually isn't bad looking. It's 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 a different looking truck, but it's not ugly. It's different looking, but not ugly. Um, it's got a lot of utility in there. We see that pop-up bed. Here he is. He's sliding some boxes in there. Doesn't have a long uh, truck liner or a long truck bed, but I'm, I'm like that anyway. I like long bed trucks, so whether it's a Ford, a Dodge, or even this uh, Honda Ridgeline, I like long bed pickup trucks. That's just me. Here they're showing a little shot of what has to be the rear view camera. Uh, yeah, this is that lockable truck bed, power, uh, smart entry, power doors, power entry. Uh, here's a tow hitch. We'll find out what the, uh, what their towing capacity is here in a little bit. All right, so those are our 15 exterior photos. I keep clicking back. Here's our 15 exterior photos. A lot of them showing it, its ruggedness. A lot of it's showing its ruggedness. And yeah, they're giving us a little snippet of information down at the bottom, like I said. But I don't want to get into that because we're going to go jump into the features right after we walk, look through the gallery. So it just gets to be redundant. Okay, so they have 10 exterior photos. Uh, the inside of the Honda Ridgeline looks no different than, say, a Honda Accord, which I've done a building price on those two. I like the Honda Accord, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's it's very Honda-like on the inside. That's not necessarily a bad thing, is it? Here they're showing some uh, some a lot of utility, really. They got the rear seat that flips up. You could throw your whole bicycle back there. I mean, that's cool. Another cool thing, if you watch this channel, you know I like digital speedometers. And we can see right up here a nice big digital speedometer. Love digital speedometers. Glad to see the Honda Ridgeline's got one. And apparently they're going 30 miles an hour while they're taking this picture. Uh, and they're talking about that little 4.2 inch monitor. But like I said, we're going to learn about all that stuff. It is kind of hard not to want to read all that stuff. But we're going to check it out here in just a few. Uh, lots of room in there. Looks like uh, you guys a, char a place to charge your phone. But it does not look like wireless charging because it's corded up. So not. Uh, it's got a USB charge. This must be, yep, the black edition because it's got that red accented leather, or yeah, red accented leather interior. And we can see the red stitching, some red on the seats. This is your, your black edition, and the black edition really is no different than the RTLE, except it's got blacked out exterior stuff and, and, and some, uh, uh, some unique interior options or uh, uh, features. All right, so we've gone through all the exterior and interior photos. Let's move on and actually check out the exterior colors that you can get for the Ridgeline for 2020. Okay, so here we are. Uh, exterior colors. This color here is called Modern Steel Metallic. And down here they tell us what trim levels these paints come on. And the only one we're really concerned about is the RTLE. And so the RTLE can be had with Modern Steel Metallic. It can be had with the Platinum White Pearl. It can be had with uh, Lunar Silver, Crystal Black Pearl, and then we have the Obsidian Blue Pearl. It looks like every color, every color. Deep Scarlet Pearl and Pacific Pewter Metallic. Just real to make a note, looks like the only color, of course, the Black Edition comes in is black. Nope, just just to be noted on that. All right, so it says we can drag this. Oh, we can. We can drag this around and get a 360 degree, uh, a 360 degree walk around review 
uh, walk around of the ridge line. And when we walk around it, it definitely looks better than some of these angles they show it at. Uh, and it does, like I said, have a really, really short bed, but it's more via, it's more car than truck. It's certainly more car than truck, but definitely has some utility of a truck, has the height of a truck, and at the end of the day, the ruggedness really of a truck. You know, it's you know it's tougher than than most people use it. Even though most people don't use it that way, it's it's tougher than what most folks probably use it for. Okay, let's move on to the features. Let's uh, talk about exterior and interior features. Right? They're telling us that the Honda Ridgeline is stylish. Uh, 2020, it combines functionality, upscale amenities. It's got seating for five. There's available leather trim seats. And uh, it's got a unique modern truck experience. I will certainly give them that. Uh, let's move on to styling. What are they going to tell us? So LED headlights, bright and distinctive, available. They're not standard, available LED low beam headlights with auto on off and daytime running lights. That's an available option. It's not standard. So styling, they're talking about the body line. The Ridge line was designed to take controversial or conventional truck styling and update it as only Honda can. Yeah, meddling, there you go. Melding form and function into one highly capable package. They've got the LED taillights. Those are standard. Uh, for styling, you got the 18-inch alloy wheels. That's pretty cool. Uh, cabin, like I said, you got seating for five. You've got the 60-40 split uh, lift-up rear seat. So not only does this seat have a 60-40 fold-down, it also lifts up as well. And then, like I said, there's that available leather-trimmed uh, seats, leather-wrapped steering wheel, and a leather and shift knob although where's a shift knob when it's got a push button transmission so i'm not sure what they're talking about there uh here they're talking about that there you go the flip up seats look they're showing all the different things you can do i guess i the the pictures it really is worth a thousand words it's more than i can say so you get you can see all the available storage that it has you got the power driver seat right available 10-way right it's not standard available 10-way uh, power driver seat, which includes power lumbar support and two-position memory, and a four-way power seat with fr uh, for the front passenger. Then we've got uh, the one-touch power moonroof. Right now, I don't know if that yeah, it's available feature. I knew it wasn't standard. Couldn't possibly be standard. So you got an available one-touch power moonroof. Here's that. Uh, they're really calling it a center console storage, which happens to have a USB charging port and they say it's got enough space for a 10 inch tablet all right and yeah and that USB charging port uh, amenities some of the amenities we got heated front seats right that's an available feature another available feature would oh no I'm sorry it's not the tri-zone or three-zone climate control is standard all right that's pretty cool uh, you got the uh, standard engine remote start I like that. Uh, so you can heat or cool the cabin so the temperature is perfect before you even open the door. Uh, you've got the what the multi-information interface. That's right under here underneath the speedometer. This has got a 4.2-inch multi-informational interface with steering wheel controls. Make it easy to answer the phone, change the song, or turn up the volume. Also gives you a lot of cool information. I'm sure it goes through quite a few screens. You've got the second row USB charging in the back. So that's pretty cool. And then you've got, uh, let's see, there's genuine Honda accessories that we can get for this, like running boards, roof rails. And you can see they got it dressed out a little bit. This one has some running boards on it, and it's got some roof rack rails on the top and stuff. And then they're talking about fender flares. Oh, yeah, now we're over here in accessories. So some of these accessories, fender flares. Um, we can get a sport grill, which looks kind of cool with a distinct carbon fiber pattern. They say pattern because it's not real carbon fiber. It's a pattern. Uh, so another accessory is all-season floor mats. These are surely they're showing us the popular all-season floor mats. Uh, and I like all this stuff. Uh, the illuminated door sills, that's very cool. It certainly does dress up the interior. I'll give them that. Uh, and then last but not least, they're talking about that uh, quite attractive, actually, leather-wrapped uh, available heated steering wheel. Uh, it takes the chill out of cold winter commutes i never saw the value of a heated leather steer, uh, heated steering wheel until maybe a couple of years ago and yeah i'm all about a heated steering wheel leather or otherwise 
Okay, so we went through the uh, interior and exterior features, I guess maybe design features sort of kind of, uh, and let's now talk about capability features. And so I kind of already kind of talked about it a little bit. The Ridgeline comes with one engine. doesn't matter what trim level you get. It has one engine, 3.5 liter V6, 280 horsepower, uh, 262 pound-feet of torque, I think it was. Uh, this vehicle could tow 5,000 pounds, and there's an available all-wheel drive system. And it has a scratch-resistant truck bed uh, for all your gear. All right, let's talk about cargo stuff. So it says it's got a dual-action tailgate. It can flip down or swing out. That's pretty cool because you never know what you might need it as. Uh, lockable in-bed trunk. There you go. It's got a 7.3 cubic foot of space, cubic feet of space. So, yeah, you can find some stuff for that. That's pretty cool. Uh, you got a lay flat truck bed. Uh, the bed is a four by eight, right? From off road toys to four by eight foot sheets of plywood. There you go. Uh, what else do we have? An available truck bed power outlet. So if you want to watch the game and you want to do some tailgating, then there you go. Speaking of tailgating, there's a lockable tailgate uh, and available hard uh, tonneau cover, if I'm saying that right. Uh, and that's new for the 2020 Ridgeline. And you might want to push your golf clubs in because that's not going to close. Uh, composite truck bed, uh, standard UV stabilized scratch resistant bed helps protect your truck from dings and scrapes. All right. And then, of course, last but not least, they're talking about that that motor, 280 horse direct injection. Uh, they don't say anything about its torque. And then the to there it is, 262 pound-feet of torque, 5,000 pound towing capacity. Uh, there's a standard integrating tow hitch, inter integrated tow hitch with seven pin connector. Uh, and two-wheel drive trims can tow 3,500 pounds. There's that nine-speed automatic transmission. Remember, I think I said it's new for uh, 2020. And that's standard on all of them. All-wheel drive is not standard on the two low trim levels, the Sport and the RTL. But the RTL E and the Black Edition do get all-wheel drive as standard. Uh, here's that. They're talking about intelligent traction uh, management. They've got this little thing down here. So you've got settings, normal snow, mud, snow. I'm sorry, normal snow, mud, sand. Uh, and tested tough. Uh, they say they push the available all-wheel drive system to the limit. At the automotive and viral testing facility in somewhere in Minnesota, uh, has some of the most severe uh, weather. Da 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 da. And apparently, it performed great. Otherwise, it wouldn't bother to be telling us, I guess. Independent front suspension. There is. There's a unibody construction that creates an extremely rigid structure that provides a lower floor height, making loading cargo and getting in and out easier. There's improved isolation from wind noise, vibration, and better driving dynamics uh now as far as accessories are concerned in 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 this category as far as capabilities are concerned we've got roof rails with crossbars we've got the black running boards we've got a kayak attachment <laughs> and a bed extender because they already know that bed's not long enough it gives the ridge line an extra 16 inches of storage and a maximum cargo length of 76 inches you can also throw a cargo net onto that bad boy. Uh, here's your in-bed trunk cargo dividers. That's cool as well. All right, so looks like we went through all the capability features and all that there. Let's move on. Let's talk about technology features, right? There's an available Honda satellite link navigation system, uh, a truck bed audio system, da-da-da-da-da. So let's explore the technology. So connectivity. Uh, there's an 8-inch display audio touchscreen, right? You can pinch and swipe your way through all your favorite music, podcasts, and talk shows. we got the Apple CarPlay integration. We've got Android Auto integration. There's an available Honda Satellite Link navigation uh, system, which features 3D renderings of terrain, buildings, and road signs, as well as lane guidance. Here you got Honda Link uh, compatible. This is their app. Every car manufacturer has an app. Honda's no different. Their app, some of the things it lets you, I say some because they don't list it all here, right? Uh, let's you find your parking location, view your fuel range, schedule service appointments. Uh, there's a truck bed audio system. Uh, it's an industry first. 
uh, uses the bed walls to pump out great sound. Uh, and then, of course, speaking of great sound, there's a premium audio system. Uh, 540-watt, 8-speaker premium audio system. Comes standard, thank goodness, on the RTL-E, which we're going to build in price today. And the black edition. So the two top-level trims get the premium audio system. Down here, they say something about radio choices. Yeah, okay, so Sirius XM Radio, HD Radio, and Pandora. I like Pandora. Uh, over here, under Peace of Mind, they got the Blind Spot Information System. This is an available system. The RTLE comes standard with it. Uh, multi angle rear view camera. This is standard. Offers three different views wide, normal, and top down. There's a smart entry with walk away auto lock. This is an available system. I think it's standard on our RTLE. Uh, you can lock and unlock your doors and tailgate without ever taking the key fob out of your pocket. And while the available walk-away auto lock feature will lock the lock them once the key fob is eight feet away. So that was all the technology features. Let's see what else there is. They just want to tell us about the Black Edition. We're not going to get into the Black Edition. At the end of the day, A, we're not building the Black Edition, and B, more importantly, the Black Edition is just an appearance package. They haven't changed anything. I mean, yeah, the seats look a little bit different, but they're not giving you more tech or anything like that. So we're not going to bother with that. What we will bother with is the Honda Sensing. That's their suite of safety technology. No, we're not going to watch the videos, but we can see about uh, all this. So this first video kind of just gives you an overview, right? The Honda Ridgeline comes with Honda Sensing, a suite of safety and driver assistive technologies designed to assist you and help you protect you and your family. So what does that include? It includes collision mitigation braking system, all right? It includes a road departure mitigation system. It includes adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist. Okay, so here we are. Make sure we got the right trim level, 2020 Ridgeline RTL-E, all-wheel drive. We've got the right starting MSRP. Come standard with all-wheel drive. As far as exterior colors are concerned, I'm not crazy about any of them, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I kind of, you know what, I'm going to say, let's see what that white pearl looks like. Let's go with the platinum white pearl. Let's just do the platinum white pearl. I'm indifferent about all the colors, so why spend a whole bunch of time uh, going over them? We've already looked at the, the individual colors. As far as interior is concerned, uh, it looks like you have beige leather or black leather. It's a no-brainer for me. Uh, we're certainly going to go with the black leather. Now, they're talking about premium features here. Uh, we've got uh, Honda Satellite Link Navigation System. That's included. Honda Sensing. That's included. Packages. So they've got some different packages. There's an Adventure Package, All-Season High Wall Protection Package, All-Season High Wall Protection Package 2. Uh, In-Bed Trunk Carpet. So that's all about uh, outside stuff. Uh, splash guards, these all-season packages. So the adventure package looks a little bit interesting because it gives you a sport grill, black running board, fender flares, a skid plate, diamond cut alloy wheels, crossbars, and black roof rails. So it makes it real sporty real quick. You know what, though? I'm not really worried about any of that. The adventure package, I'll, I can pass on it. The all-season package, you got front and rear splash guards, in-bed trunk carpet, high wall all-season mat. Mm, all that sounds good. These all-season packages, they're just giving you different exterior things, right? Splash guards, all-season mats, cargo trays. You know, I wouldn't really call them ex uh, 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 packages as much as accessories, sort of, kind of. Uh, so they got a whole bunch of little nickel and dime packages, like this Outdoor Essentials package with little door sill trims and illumination. You know what? I'm not, I don't want any of it. If I want any of those, I'd rather a la carte them individually in the accessories, to be quite honest with you, because I don't want all of them collectively. So those packages, and they're going to show them all. They're just little different bundled packages, and I'm not interested in them. So let's move on. Uh, wheels. Now, I am interested in wheels. Give me the 18-inch chrome alloy finish wheels. However, let me get the good wheels. Are they going to change? Yeah, give me the good wheels now. Uh, now we're getting serious here. Exterior accessories. Now, there we go. We, i just rather look at them a la carte. I don't want any of the bed, bike attachments, body side moldings. I don't need the crossbars or anything like that. What they're doing, they say show all because really they're probably showing you the most common popular ones. And we're going to keep it at that. Uh, interior accessories, the cargo tray. Uh, I do like the illuminated door sills. All right. Like I said, I'd rather get it 
uh, a la carte. Uh, the high wall all season floor mats, right? Those are those. I want the high wall all season floor mats. And how about the rear seat under storage system, right? Why not? All right. And honestly, that's about it. What are these electronic accessories? Probably things that we don't really care about. A CD player and an engine block heater. I was right. These are things I don't really care about. Another thing I do care about. On the channel, we don't really talk about price. We really, really don't, to be honest with you. This vehicle is $44,000. I think that's more than enough money for a Honda Ridgeline. So on top of that, I'm not trying to nickel and dime it up with a bunch of these little packages. Some of them were expensive, like that Adventure package. Well, I guess the Adventure package had a lot going on. All these other packages were pretty cheap. Although some of these Outdoor Essential packages, yeah, they were a little expensive. I'm running on about it. Let's move on. All right, so we got everything that we want and nothing that we don't need and so now we can just jump to our build summary so yeah life for this vehicle started off at forty four thousand twenty dollars we didn't really add much uh honda sensing's free black all that stuff was included uh here's where we we charged our money at we got those wheels we got the door sills we got the the floor mats and we got the under uh, uh under seat storage system and that's how we uh nickel and dimed ourselves up to forty four thousand two hundred sixty four dollars now here's the deal i think that the uh 2020 honda ridgeline is uh it's pretty cool it's an interesting vehicle i should say that it's an interesting looking pickup truck i typically like standard or more conventional pickup trucks but you know what it does have a lot of utility and well different strokes for different folks there you go you know what on that note i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up if you found this review of the 2020 honda ridgeline RTLE all wheel drive helpful informative or entertaining please like share and subscribe to my channel other than that I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the very next video